hello everybody and welcome back to jazzy61 today's video is going to be a really quick video just me getting my outside of my house the outside of my house together for the holidays you guys hope you enjoy today's video and if you are new here hi and welcome i am jazz i am my stay-at-home mom of two and i do motherhood lifestyle a little bit of beauty and i would love it if you would join the family by subscribing today and welcome back to my returning and a new family hi guys welcome back i hope you enjoyed today's video it's gonna be real quick like i said you guys i'm just gonna get everything cleaned up out here first because it's mad dusty and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about in a second it is mad dusty I'm not really sure why it gets so dusty well yes I am we're surrounded by cow pastures and open plains and everything else so I have to get all the dust off of everything first I did end up wiping down my chairs a little bit as well just to get the excess dust off of them before I added the pillows and things like that I'm gonna sweep my porch area off really quickly get it sort of cleaned up and then I'm gonna start to add a little bit of decor to pass me by I share a laugh that gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way So here is my outside decor box, you guys. It's not too big because I haven't added much to it over the years. Um, it's mostly just lights so they don't take up a whole, whole lot of space. I'm going to go ahead first and put my wreath on the door. This wreath, I told you guys, I made about five years ago. I got a little wreath from Michaels. cost about $5. I added some Dollar Tree ribbons, some Dollar Tree ornaments, including the little owl that hangs on the bottom. And the lights that are in them also came from Dollar Tree. It's kind of one of those little short strings of lights that I can kind of attach in the middle to the garland which I got from Walmart you guys I got that garland a long time ago I tried to go find some this year it was difficult to find any so if you're looking for it try checking online I'll try to leave as many links as I can in the video um, on the screen in the description box so that you guys can find this stuff if you're interested in it because it's very very affordable Next, I'm going to go ahead and hang that garland around my door frame. I end up using some push pins around the door frame and they worked great. So if you need something like that, or if you're trying to find something to hang up, because command hooks have been falling off. So the push pins worked great. Once I got the garland hung around the door, you guys, it's about... I want to say it's it's 18 feet it's two nine foot pieces of garland they connect they came in the pack together and then I'm just gonna hang these and add my Christmas trees that I picked up from Walmart last year the two that go on the sides they were $35 there is a bigger set that's about $65 and it comes with a garland a wreath and the two trees I'll link that one as well you guys because I really liked it this rug came from TJ Maxx it's a little Ray Dunn rug it just says Merry Christmas and it has some ranger on it cost about 15 bucks like I said everything is quite inexpensive i don't like spending too much money um especially when it's outside because it's dusty here like i mentioned and things kind of get damaged destroyed uh, between the rain the wind and the dust is brutal so i'm gonna go ahead and get these two trees set up get my little bells hung on the door which came from hobby lobby and try to get as much as i can get done outside before it starts to get too cold So all of these pillows and these cushions came from Walmart. They were $5 each. So the cushions were $5 and then the little pillows came from like the little area at the front. I don't know if you guys have seen that little um, kind of dollar area at the front of Walmart that they started to do now. And I got those two jolly pillows out of there. They were $5 each as well. And it just made this area look a little bit cozier. And I also got a $5 fake poinsettia plant or fake poinsettia flower to sit on the table. Time's got the best of me, then it starts to snow in our hearts. We will know that we're falling in love. To me. 
So these candy cane lights, you guys, I started to buy these way back in, I want to say in October when I first started to see them. They were $10 a box, but it didn't tell you exactly how long they were. So I wasn't sure how many I needed. And I ended up having to go back to the store to get some more. So they come with like little stakes. You put them in the ground. I did readjust this first one, you guys, because I realized how bad it was leaning over. But I didn't show you guys the entire process of me putting these in the ground either, because that took so long to go around my entire front yard. But these are green and red. And then I also have pink and teal i didn't realize they were different colors at first and then once i noticed i already had about half and half of each one so i was like it's gonna be fun i'm gonna use them anyways i'm gonna go ahead and stake these into the ground to add a little bit of color and light to the front yard pausing for the evening um i do have more of these lights the little candy canes but it has gotten really chilly out so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and head into the house but i did add lights pretty much all over the place for the time being i'll be back out here tomorrow to finish it up Okay guys, this is where I finished off. I do love all the lights. I added a reindeer and a little sleigh to the front as well as a blow up T-Rex. We call him Rexy that my son picked years ago. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. First flick.